What's up everyone? I want to do uh, some Matt Rosic. I want to do a quick tutorial on how to work with a cape that's not quite fitting. Um, this is the Turner Batman that I unboxed the other day. And um, his cape was not fitting correctly. Uh, I've got it a lot better right now, but I'm going to tweak it a little bit more. Um, and the reason I'm doing this right now is because uh, a buddy of mine, uh, Leo, who just got a um, pre-painted vision, from Mark DeMello, the cape's not quite lining up with part of the kit, and this was a common, this was an issue I had with the, the kit that I had. Um, and it involves having to heat the resin up and bending it. So right now, um, before I worked on this the other night, it, I worked about an hour on it. The cape right here, this part, um, had just flared out quite a bit more to the point where when I put the gun hand, or the, I guess the grappling hook hand in, it touched the hook it touched the grappling hook and it was to the point where if I just put the normal hand in the normal hand wouldn't sit flush um, against the arm so if I turn this around you can see now it's, it's sitting flush before the cape was to the point where the hand would kick out like like this so you can see the space between the thumb and the cape the handle is kind of like like that you can see how much I, I uh, brought that cape in quite a bit about half an inch um, also it wasn't fitting quite right up on the left shoulder so if I pan up it's better now this gap right here was probably twice as big or three times as big I don't think I'm gonna get that down all the way but I can try to do it a little bit more. So I'm going to kind of show you how I did that and how to work with uh, resin to get it to fit better. Give me one second. Okay, so what we're going to do, and it's going to be loud because I have to use a hair dryer. Um, I want to see if I can get this gap down a little bit more, okay? So what happens if I push on that right now? Well, if I push on that, just like this, the whole cape wants to swing over. Well, the problem with that is that when that happens, I get, I don't know if you can see it, that's how that little fin broke off on the side of the boot the first time I put the cape on. The cape wanted to move way this way, so the first time I tried to put the cape on, it broke that tip off because it was touching. So if I just come up here and I push on this like this, it's gonna force that cape over even more to the point where it's gonna to touch that uh, little tip on the boot. So what I gotta do is I'm gonna break out some clamps here, bring out the big guys, and take the hands off so I don't damage those. Other than the having to tweak the cape, this guy's ready to paint out of the box. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I got a nice big old clamp here. I'm gonna clamp this down to where I want it. You see when I do that, that whole cape wants to ship it. I'll take the head out too. So I take that out. And I'm actually gonna clamp this side too, so it doesn't get affected. And it just kind of looks like this shoulder doesn't fit really well anyway. So I need to do this now while that boot is kind of damaged. So if I end up damaging it anymore, I can fix it all at one time. So now I got that on there pretty tight. And I'm going to um, get a turntable, which I never have out. I never have a turntable out when I need it. I've got like five of them. There's one right here on the, there's one right here, right in front of me on the bench. So give me one second to get this on a turntable. Okay, so now I have them on a turntable. I can move them around easier. And I'm gonna come up a little bit on the height. So, what I gotta do is I have to heat this cape up with those clamps on 
and like pulling the cape over a little bit. So I'm going to do come to the back side here. And I'm going to I'm going to um I don't see the best way to do this. So I can't get it all in frame. So I'm going to heat the cape while pushing it over this way. So gonna, uh, let's see if my core is long enough to do that. One second. Okay. So uh, there's a couple ways I'm going to do this. I'm going to heat this up right now. Get nice and hot. Now, now doing this on a unpainted piece is pretty safe. Uh, if it's painted, you have to be real careful because there's a good chance you could melt the paint or cause it to flake off. This being unpainted, I'm not too worried about getting it too hot. Um, actually, the hotter the better actually because I can move the resin easier. There's a lot of tension right in here, a lot of stress in this cape. So that's why I want to heat it up. You don't want to use the heat gun. If you use the heat gun, you'll melt the resin right away. Use a hair dryer. So right now I've got my hand over here on the left and I'm pushing down and over on this cape. Quite, quite a bit actually. I won't be able to do too much of it with it on the statue. I'll have to take it off and do the rest of it like I did the other night, and I'll show you that in a second. So not only have to do this, I have to get the cape to wrap around more in the front on the right side. Right now it's in that boot. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna take this off the statue like this. I'm gonna do this in my lap. Cause right now it actually, um, the only part it really doesn't fit real well is on the shoulders. So I'm, I just may have to leave it up there. But we're gonna work this a little bit more, let's see. And you know, resin will only go so far. You know, it's been casted, so it's got this, it's got memory. Okay, so let's take it off. And we're gonna bring the camera over into my lap, or like down looking at my lap, because I'm gonna work with this in my lap. See what I'm doing. We'll see if we get to fit a little bit better. It's pretty good, but you know, I can try to get it to fit a little bit better. Okay, so let's see if you guys can see this. What I'm gonna be doing here. Uh, I don't know. Give me one second while I try to figure out a good camera angle. I have to be sitting down to do this. Dryer. 
right here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, and this is what I was doing the other night, is I'm gonna put a lot of pressure on this part of the cape. I'm gonna push it down. I'm gonna push it down and to my right. So I'm gonna kinda of do this number while I'm heating it up. Again, if this is a painted piece, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know if I'd advise it. See, I'm putting a lot of stress on that cape, quite a bit. So I'm heating up from the inside right now. the cool button so once you kind of get it softened up and where you want it, you can cool it down so I'm pushing down and twisting a little bit now I hit the cool button I'm going to cool it down right here and it's going to spring back a lot of it so that's why I'm putting a lot of twist into it right now more than I need it's gonna spring back. With the nature of this piece with the, with the fold sculpted in, it's got a lot of memory and a lot of tension into the piece already, so there's only be so much you can do with it. I'm also going to, I'm gonna heat this portion up and make it wrap around more. I'm gonna heat up the inside here and like close it over. I'm gonna pull it this way. So I'm I'm pulling with my left hand towards me to close this close this up a little bit. That way it won't hit the hands any, uh, the grappling hand or the normal hand. Now, if you're doing this, I can kind of feel it when it starts to loosen up. You can feel the resin starting to flex. Um, you gotta be real careful because you go too far with the heat, like this will snap. It'll just bend right over and then you'll be screwed. So you have to kind of know what that feels like when it starts to soften up a little bit. When it starts to get to the point where you can flex it, it'll, it won't be as hard to, to manipulate it. And that's, the, that's kind of like a danger point that you don't want to uh, go past that point. So right, for just right now, I just felt it soften up a little bit. I could feel it. Then okay, I'm going to hit the cooling button. I'm going to cool this down. All right, so let's see what that does, if anything. All right, I'll kind of point up. So now I don't have any interference on the boot on the inside. But now my hand's hitting here. It's hitting right there. And I bet if I put this other hand on, you can see there's a gap right here now. So I've lost some of the, the work I did the other night, but I can fix it. 
If I put that on, you can see there's a nice gap right there. This needs to come in more. So basically what I need to do is I need to hold it like this. See how it spreads out right there? I need to kind of hold it like this and heat it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp it again up here on the shoulders. I don't think I'm going to get that shoulder to go down any further. I just think that's the way it's going to be. Unfortunately. Okay, so I'm going to hold that and I'm going to heat it up. Slide it closer to the outlet over here. Let's get all this out of the way. So that's a, it's a back and forth. You, you know, you do a little bit at a time. Okay, I gotta get my hands in position here. So I'm gonna basically close this up. It was a long process. I'm not sure if they're pre-paints are like this or they're having all these uh, kind of interference issues. I don't know if this factory takes care of all that. I would assume so because nothing would be worse than to get this home and you put the cape on and then you break some of those really thin Little points on the boots and stuff. Let's throw that start in here. Heat up on the inside. I'm not heating the right side over here. I'm just using that to give my hand something to hold against while I'm pushing, putting pressure on it. The cool thing about these Turner sculpts is the way the capes wrap around the character. That's what kind of gives them a really nice uh, dynamic. It gives it a lot of motion without the character actually being in like a pose where he's moving. You get a sense of motion just from the cape. It's pretty cool. If you watch this, this is kind of what you have to do on your vision to get that cape to fit correctly. And I'm heating up here by the shoulder, you can't see it, but... Hit the cool button. We're gonna cool it down a little bit and see what we got. See if it conforms a little bit better. A lot of times you just have to get to a point where it's gonna get it's, get, it's as good as it's gonna get. Um, because if it's part of the original sculpt and original casting, you may not be able to get out all of a bend or all of a twist. Uh, a lot of times, or not all, a lot of times, but sometimes you'll go to the point where you'll just end up breaking the piece. There's just too much stress already. Hold on. There's just too much stress already built into the piece. So sometimes it can only go so far. Yeah, I think that shoulder is, is just, it's going to be where it is.
it's a lot better than it was i can tell you that the other night it was really bad um yeah this this part was like flared up like probably up to here all right so let's put the hands on I'm gonna do one more thing and I think we'll have it. So I'm gonna take it off one more time. It's a tight fit. You can see I sanded off the primer up there to get it to fit on better. So I'm gonna do this. Uh, basically, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna heat it up again and I'm gonna bend this down. I'm just gonna do it real quick off the camera. camera but I'm just heating up the um, kind of underneath the shoulder and bending it down a little bit should have paused the video but I'm already in the middle of this so pretty good and hands touching the cape that's okay but I don't want what I don't want is I don't want a gap there if it touches a little bit it's okay if it touches the cape a little bit I'm okay with that so I think we're pretty good so basically that's it I heated up the shoulders I bent this down more to get the cape take cape to kick forward a little bit What I also may do is I may and do one more thing I think which will help me I think part of it is that the cape is hitting the water whatever this base is <laughs> I'm not sure what you call it it's kind of hitting right here so I think I'm gonna try to bend that out a little bit we're sculpting with heat the inside a little bit that's pretty thick resin down there so we're gonna give it a second let it heat up pretty good 
the thicker the resin, obviously the longer it take to heat up. bend it out a little bit. All about heating it up and cooling it down. part of the cape is pretty thick. A good eighth of an inch. Right here's the tip I want it to come out just a little bit. You can see how flexible it's getting. And I hit the cool button. And I can tell that that's come flattened out a little bit. I'm gonna do a little bit more. This will let me like allow me to kick the cape forward more and free up um, some interference with that boot and the hands. Flatten that out a little bit. And now. I think we're pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So basically that's it. That's heating resin, getting it to kind of conform. If you're having fitting issues, again, sorry, another long video, 30 minutes or so, but so it is possible to kind of heat and get the resin to go where you want. Like I said, I'm going to leave this where it is. Um, I don't want to mess with that anymore. This head fits in there perfectly. The, um, this like kind of scowl head fits in there really good. This one, I may have to sand some of the primer off. It's a tight fit. But it's cool. I mean, he's a cool looking piece, so. So there you go. Heat bending, resin, trying to get stuff to fit better. This even closed up a little bit right here. That was even way bigger last night. Um, you can see right here, I sanded it a little bit. There's, even though this is a factory prime job, there's a few little rough spots. So I'm gonna, before I do any painting, I'm gonna just go lightly over real quick with a 
a very fine sanding sponge to kind of smooth it out, but cool piece. Um, so Leo, that's what you kind of have to do to get your cape to fit on vision. You have to heat it up and play with it. <laughs> so, um, there you go. Thanks for watching. This is Matt Rosick. Catch you guys, catch you guys later. Bye.